For my next step, we're going to bore it all the way through to where we meet up at the other side. Uh, we're shooting for 673. So once we hit 673 on this side, we, we're already at 673 back here, and then we'll have 673 all the way through. And then we'll start cutting our steps. So let's get started. And the reason why I'm boring first instead of cutting the outside down first is the more material that's there, the less vibration you have. And with such a small boring bar here, we get a lot of vibration and chatter. I'm trying to reduce that the best I can by leaving more material on the choke. Let's speed this up a little bit. We'll be here all day. There we go, we made it all the way through. Well, let's blow her out, see where we are. Okay, looks like we are at 6.54. Got 19 to go. following my plan I need to cut in three inches deep my ID will be 695 so I'm gonna make my first cut three inches deep and I'm gonna keep cutting until I get 695 and then I'm gonna back off a half inch to two and a half and I'm gonna cut to 715 and then I'll back off to two inches and cut to 735 and that'll give me my my one two three steps and I think I explained this before but the idea is to catch the wadding slow the wadding down as as the shot is coming out the end of the barrel slows the wadding down and then allows the shot to settle here and come out without the wadding. And the idea is that the shot will have a more uniform pattern as you strike the target, <clears throat> which is typically 30 yards away for a turkey shoot. Okay, let's get going on that. I forgot to face this end when I first chucked it up, so let me go ahead and get that out of the way. Pretty close. A couple more cuts will be there. You can see it didn't completely clean up here, but this will all be taken down when I turn this down. So we've got our end found. Now we've got to find where it's three inches deep. And I don't have a good way to do that, really. So what I end up usually doing is just measuring it off using one of these guys. So I'll just come in and just count. It's an archaic way to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's an inch. And I'll back this guy off again. Come back to zero. Do it again. There's three inches. And I'll just mark that. This guy will make one revolution to zero. And that'll be three inches. Like I said, we're cutting to three inches deep now. And our internal bore size is going to end up 695. So I'm going to cut until this guy goes to one revolution and stops at zero. Let's get a measurement, see where we are. And one thing I've learned with this lathe is when you're moving around it, if you got a belly like I do, don't bump that guy with your belly. It screws up all your measurements and then you're all screwed up and you don't know which way is which. Okay, there's 675. Let's double check that. This guy said 680. Look at that again. Yes, 680. That's why you double check because... I don't know about you guys, but it's hard for me to read those guys sometimes. I'll take another 10. In my mind, this is the hardest part of it because you can't see what you're doing. You're relying totally on your measuring. And if you're horrible at math like I am, well, you get the idea. Okay, that's 675 plus 16. 675 plus 16. 
I'm at 691, so I got four thousandths to come out. So let's just dial in four thousandths and make our final pass. I'm not going to change the, the speed of the lathe or the, my speed of travel because I've learned that if I do that at this point, you'll actually take off more material with a slower feed rate. And I'm assuming because you're cutting a finer cut and there's not as many ridges in there. But we don't really care about how rough it is inside because we want the actual the inside of it to stop that wadding. So the more grip we can get on that wadding, the better we are. Seventy five plus twenty, that's right on six ninety-five. Let's go back in until we hit our zero down here. And we want to come in or go back five hundred thousandths. So there's try to drag this guy in. This I'm sure there's a better way to do this. Two, three, four, five. So from where we were, that should be six on the dial, and we're sitting at six. So we'll back off. That should be our one inch mark. So now we're going to take two and a half inches uh, in, two and a half inches travel in. Our cut's going to be 715, so we're going to cut it 715 from here to the end. So let's go ahead and take another 10. We just got to make one complete revolution and land at zero. Oh, we went a little past. There's 715. Now our final size, 735. So another 20 grand. Seven thirty-four. Our goal is seven thirty-five. That finishes out at 737, so we're two thousandths over, which is not that big a deal. Let me use my compound to cut a chamfer on that inside. That's good enough. Now on our outside here, to our shoulder there is 2.438. Set my calipers to 2.438. Lock them in. It's literally just past our edge where we are there. And our diameter is going to be 812 thousandths. And then we got a little piece on the end that's 140 thousandths long, 776 in diameter. So we'll go 812, we'll cut down to 812 all the way across to start with. at 817 and at this point I'm going to cool it off a little bit because as metal heats it expands and we don't want to make a cut and then once it cools end up smaller than we want to be. Okay that's cool to the touch. It shrunk right down to 817. It was 817 and a half. So I'll leave this with 5,000 to go. Take four and then we'll polish it down the last thousands. Right on 813. See if we can polish that last thousand south with sandpaper. Eight, 11 and a half, 812. We're gonna call that there. Okay, now we have to cut this little shoulder here. We're gonna go in 140 thousandths, so we're going to 776. Going in 140, there's 100, there's 40. All right, so we're at 812, we're going to 776. 812 minus 776. We got 36 thou to come. Ooh, that was loud.
Okay, we're gonna slow it down a little bit so we won't get so much chatter. All right, guys, so I was just measuring my thread pitch on this old guy here. This is the one I made last time for the same gun. And it measures 36 threads per inch, which surprised me because it's supposed to be 32. So I must have screwed up and not, not even realized it. So there's your reason to always measure your threads before you complete a project. Never assume it's gonna be a certain way. So I've got the lathe set here for 36 threads per inch. That looks like 36. What I'm doing is I'm cleaning up on either side of zero, five thousandths on either side. And just because I'm not sure, I'm starting at number one on my thread dial every time. I don't want to make a mistake at this point, but too much invested in it. All right, guys, here we go. See the steps in there, three steps. My crappy knurling job, gotta get better at that. Shoulders up all the way in there, it's nice and tight. There's no wiggle, no wobble. That gives us our 32 inch barrel length for the turkey shoot standard. All right. We've got two. So if, some, if someone can tell me why did the knurling work on this one, but not this one, and they're both they were both cut to nine hundred thousandths in diameter. So I just don't understand that. Let's see where we ended up internal diameter. This one ended up six seventy three, and the one I had made before is six seventy six. So there you go, three more thousandths. It's gonna win the big money. A big box of bacon, as it were. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Hope you have a great day.